So this is an Eldest Crusader Storm. Uh, I'm going to take you through the operation of the caravan. This van is very simple to use, and if you've caravan before, then uh, a lot of the things, legs down, etc., all that sort of thing, are very similar to what you've done prior. If you need to caravan him, then it's uh, not an issue. We can take you through the whole van or a van that you do purchase from us in complete detail. So this van here, the main control panel is on the left-hand side of the door as you walk in. The one with the blue dot on that you see just here is the main power switch for the caravan. So as you can see, the Aldi heating system's on at the moment. If I turn it off, everything goes off with it. So power on, control panel's come back on, lights have come back on, and the water system's come back on, your control panel, etc., has come back on. In exterior, lights on the left-hand side. Internal lights for the roof on the switch next in. Obviously, that's your main power switch. Water pump power, so you put this switch on here. And if you want to fill the internal tank, which to do that, you need to go underneath the bed at the back of the van. You'd have your ac roll connected at this point, as you would do with a normal, with a normal van without an onboard tank. Just have a look inside, because some of these tanks do actually have a drain down valve in the bottom. This one's actually quite full, so I'm going to drain that off. But to run the water system, you'll need to make sure the drain down valve that you see just there, if you're going to run on the internal tank, um, it is closed, and as you can see, we put a C and an O on the floor, so the when, it, the, when the ball is pointing towards the C, that is the valve closed off, so you can fill the system, and if you open it, you'll have to flick it over to the other side to drain down the tank, which I'll do before this van leaves site today. So you need to make sure that valve there shut if you're gonna run the internal tank. You also need to come down to the Audi tank at the front of the caravan for the Audi heating uh, water system. And then the yellow valve that you see just there also needs to be shut. If you want to drain it down, you'd lift that valve up into the drain position and then you can drain down the water system. And to fill the system, you go around to all the taps as you would do normally on the camera. You go to the tap, turn the tap to the hot side and open the valve up. You'd leave that open, the same as the one in the bathroom and shower. I'm just gonna go around and do them. As you can see, this particular round's already got water coming through the system. You'd also do the same with the shower on the hot side also. Then what you do at that point is, once you've got all the taps open, you'd come over to your control panel. Now depending on what tank you want it to fill, so if you want to run off the internal tank, you'd press fill here, so the internal, you'd flick the switch up. And if you were going to fill the just the Audi heating tank from the Acro roll, you'd have to go to external on this side. So filling the external tank is a bit fit like filling one of the Truma systems uh, that most of the, uh, the older vans have. Next to this control panel, you've actually got a battery level just here and an onboard water tank. As I said, I'll drain that down in a second and we'll be able to see that dropping in a moment. So I'll just go down, open the valve up. That tank is now drained down and you'll see on that level just there, in a few seconds, it'll probably start to drop. To use the Aldi heating, this is the panel up here. We'll turn the control panel off while this is uh, adjusting the Hit the power button on the bottom left hand side here and the screen will come live. Then you've got your internal temperature up to a nice 31 degrees today. Mains power is coming into the caravan as you can see just here. If you're on gas it'll appear on this side. Press menu to go into your options Then you've got your internal temperature of the caravan. So you select, your power, uh, select the temperature down or up depending on the temperature you want. To turn on your water heater need to hit the button once for on, then twice to boost. So this, as you can see, the bar is empty when it's turned off. Once the heat, water heater's on, twice it is on boost. The one below here that you can see is the amount of power coming to a caravan. Now, if you've had a Truma system before, this is essentially the same as your switch for your heater with 500, 1,000, and 2,000 watts next to it. The only difference being you're on one, two, or three kilowatts on an Aldi heating system. And if you wish to ignite the system on gas instead of a twist dial, like on the Truma systems, you have a gas button just here which operates the gas system. So that will turn the gas on and that will just be for the heating and hot water at that point. On the control panel now you can see it's gone down to 30, now I've opened that valve up so it's draining the tank down on board.
microwave is actually an eco microwave in this particular caravan so to get the microwave to come on you need to hit the eco button as you can see that's woke the control panel back up fridge again very straightforward to use power on gas operation as you can see here so it's self-ignited on gas if it fails to ignite it will flash the red light on this side when you are on gas or mains the temperature control for the fridge is on this button just here if you want to go to 240 mains like you would on most sites you'll press the button here and again you control the temperature on this button and when you're traveling down the road and you want to use the fridge as a cool box you can put it onto 12 volt and as you can hear it bleeps at me to let me know it has failed to go onto 12 volt for now i'm going to leave it on 240 mains i'm going to go into the bathroom at the back of the caravan now toilet is electric flush on here You've got a full light for the waste cassette underneath the caravan. And then at the, front of the car uh, at the front of the toilet, you've got your normal waste flap, which you'd need to push around into that position to let the waste go out of the tank, uh, into the tank. Word of advice, when you have got the heating on, be careful of the tail rail in the bathroom when you're using the loo. They, they do get rather hot. So that's the inside little oh, cooker cooker works very similar to your household cooker 240 watt ring at the back and your three gas ones then your gas grill and hob uh, oven as well one thing to remember is electric rings on cooker on hobs they do tend to keep a lot more heat in them for a lot longer when they are turned off so what i advise you to do is, is leave open the glass hob lid um, until it's fully cooled down if you do shut it while that is hot it could potentially smash the glass itself On the back of this particular van, on the door side, you've got a locker for underneath the bed at the rear of the caravan. Wheel nuts will talk on site here for you, so uh, you can see that they've been done correctly. You've then got your motor mover, which will demonstrate in person. Wet locker at the front of the caravan for wet boots and shoes. Barbecue gas point. For the hookup procedure we go through in person, and I've actually got a separate video on that if you need extra help with that. Then the front locker is your gas locker as you'd expect. We're down the far side of the van. You've got your gas flue for the heating and hot water system. Water pump connection behind this cover. Battery box and mains power lead connection from the side of the van. With an aerial point behind and motor mover control switch. Then see the other side of the mover again. Wheels and wheel nuts again we'll go through in person two grey waste pipes at the back of the van, at the side of the van, sorry. You've then got your toilet cassettes at the back of the van. There's no flush tank on this particular van because it runs off the water system on board the van. Then at the back, you've got your two wind down legs, as you'd expect to see. A number plate we've put in place during the handover. If you have any further questions on the Elvis Crusader Storm, then please do give us a call here at the Caravan Company. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.